Welcome to Ludix Aviation, the home of fun-filled aviation videos. I invite you to like, subscribe, and enjoy the flight as I welcome you to the sky. Ludix Aviation videos are edited to be as entertaining as possible. This may remove context. Many procedures, situations, explanations, and flight phases have been edited out. Do not use for instructional purposes. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Alright, well, one of the more important parts of the pre-flight is to uh, sanitise the trim wheel. Let's see what we can pull off this thing today. See, this, this is a good gauge of how dirty people are that... Uh, that fly this thing or if it's clean it might be a sign that people aren't actually using the trim which is which would be terrible but i can already see this is picking up some dirt off this it's also good because it's also exercising the trim see if it goes full deflection both sides so i suppose that's a good thing but moment of truth look at that not the worst i've seen in all honesty so well done for people for having showers but that's uh pretty disgusting Hi right, boys and girls, welcome back to Ludix Aviation, welcome back to another video, we're outside 781 Bravo Golf, the old Bowling Green University Cessna 172, there's a lot of people that comment whenever I have an old Bowling Green aircraft on, that, uh, that they've either flown it or they know of it, so to my Bowling Green people, hello, Discovery Flight, now if you've been around the channel for a while, you'll have seen many Discovery Flights on on uh, Ludix Aviation. And you'll know that I like to do things a little bit differently. Unfortunately, Discovery Flights at flight schools, in, in my experience, seems to be a little bit of a cash grab. They sometimes market a Discovery Flight, but it turns out into just a sightseeing tour where the person that's taking the Discovery Flight doesn't really get to get hands-on too much with the controls. The instructor takes a lot of the control. I, I don't like that, which is why this really isn't a Discovery Flight. It's a Discovery Flight. The Discovery flight is all about the student getting into the aeroplane, getting behind the controls and seeing if they have, first of all, an aptitude for it. And second of all, if they have fun doing it. It's to catch the aviation bug. It's to catch the bug of wanting to fly. And I'll tell you what, I want to infect your whole body with aviation. And I want you to leave with the best memories and the best feeling possible. So you come back and you start flying these things and go into your flight training. That's the whole point of it. It's not to make money for the flight school or flight instructor. It's for the student that's getting into this plane for the first time and to go up and have fun. It's gonna be the first time that the person uh, has flown an aircraft today. So you're gonna see it raw. You're gonna see raw the, the first impressions of the person, which is always really cool to see. Now, the person we're flying with is the daughter of one of the captains that I fly with at Silver Airways. Apparently she's been studying uh, a, a lot of things ready for the Discovery flight, which is fantastic. So the fuel truck is arriving and uh, then we'll get airborne. Oh, so I thought. One of my biggest annoyances is when people over tighten the uh, oil dipstick to the point where now it's basically welded to the this 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 is the sort of thing that this shouldn't happen but you really don't need to tighten it this much anyway alternator belt's good at least all right little old date i see uh, the gentleman walking behind me he had to bring me some pliers to get this dipstick off that's how tight it was and it's below six quite a way below six good thing that uh, we didn't just leave it on there and, and leave which you know if you didn't have pliers, how would you get it off? Stop over tightening the oil dipstick. And start doing more therapeutic tasks like cleaning the windscreen. I'll freely admit I'm not the best at cleaning it before every flight, but that's going to change as a small company called Avglass has sent me a can of their Severe Clear windscreen cleaner. It's literally shining. And yeah, thanks, Avglass. This video isn't sponsored or anything, but I uh, just thought I'd help a, a small company out. There's a discount code you can use, uh, Ludex, link in the description. I don't make anything from it, but you will get clean windows from it and it helps this company. So, well done, Avglass. So, the Southern cameras are rolling. Yeah, all right. Three, one, why don't you tell the people at home who you are uh, and why you want to fly? Uh, uh, my name is Kate. I am 24 years old. And why I want to fly, quite frankly, is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And worst case scenario, I hate it and I never do this again. Best case scenario, I find a new path to go down. So, why not? You only live once is a good opportunity to take. YOLO. 
exactly. That's me trying to be cool with the kids. Getting hit you with know, the that's, lingo. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh yeah, you've hit the nail on the head. Like this, that's what the discovery flight is for. You might hate this. I could absolutely end up hating this, and again, but I get to say that I did it, and I know that I hate it because I've done it. I can't exactly. Just... We have information. On the other side of it, you might love it and now cost your parents a lot of money. So absolutely, you. But you know what? It's all my dad's fault, and that's what he's gonna hear the rest of his life, and he won't. He won't care. He's like, you know, what? I did that. Exactly. There you go. Yeah, he'd, he'd be proud. Yeah, he's just happy another kid's taking up an uh, interest yes. in aviation. Yes, exactly. Let's explain this takeoff. Okay. I, I'm going to take care of the pedals. Okay. Uh, we'll clear, clear, clear. Uh, I'm going to take care of the pedals. You're going to take care of this. Okay. okay. Aviation, or when you're flying, is all about flying airspeeds, especially when it comes to like, takeoff and landing and things like that. So, um, once... We see this airspeed hit 55 okay. on the takeoff. You're going to slowly pull back on this and let the, the plane come airborne. Okay. Now, on the climb out, we have to maintain a speed as well. Okay. Uh, that speed we want to maintain is 80. Okay. Uh, so, if you pitch down, the speed is going to get faster. If you pull up, the speed is going to get slower. Okay. I'll kind of help you. Um, but I, I want to see if you can do that. That's going to be your first test, your, okay. your first ever takeoff. There's a balance between looking outside and looking inside, right? Have a good day. Uh, on a beautiful day like this, we're, we're what, what we call a VFR, visual flight rules. So most of the time, your eyes should be outside, and then just check inside on the instruments to make sure that it's, it's following what you want to do, exactly. Okay. So check outside, check inside to make sure you're around 80, and check inside also that you're also maintaining the headings that we want, which I'll help you. Right, right. All right. Test one Bravo Golf, left turn northwest bound is per actually fly runway heading for now and uh, runway seven at Alpha Seventy clear for takeoff. Runway heading for now and uh, runway seven Alpha Seven clear for takeoff. Sky seventy one Bravo Golf. So that's two nine or six. Uh, but usually, I want to see if you can do it with just one hand. We usually okay. just do one hand in, uh, ah. when we're flying. All so right. give it a go. Uh, runway seven is confirmed. We've been clear for takeoff. It's going to read runway one, heading. Three, 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 runway heading confirmed. All right, ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Alrighty, so the power is set, the airspeed is alive. Just waiting, holding it for uh, 55, and then you can slowly pull back on the controls. There's 55, slowly pull back. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. You just took off an aeroplane. Oh, look at that. You see that pitch came up? Yeah. And you see we want to maintain 80, yeah. push the nose forward a little bit. There you go, let that speed increase a little bit. We're going to have to turn around and go back. He just took off. Look at that, one-handed too. One-handed. Uh, Welcome to the sky. Zero, Thank you. Seven. Wow, this is uh, like, beautiful. It's cool, right? Pattern, or we got to turn around you see the back. speed has dropped again? Yeah. So that means you're just holding the nose a little bit too high, so push the nose forward a little yeah, bit. 770, approach is lining up my final, about 20 out, unable touch and go. Expect uh, yeah, to enter the oh, runway and exit the Alpha 8 standby. It's increased, so now right, just slowly like kind of hold it right about there. there. I'm trying to Number find the balance. Do you see, holding it right there is holding around 80. That's, that's perfect. How you feel? Great. Yeah. That's actually really nice. Left turn northbound, 71 Bravo Golf. Alright, you're going to make a turn to that heading there. So we always clear, looking left, no one's to the left. So give me a turn to the left. You first never turn, let's do it. Alright. Contact ground point four. Alright, I know the runway exit up. Beautiful. Ground point four, 770. That's about the bank angle you're looking for, right around there. Ground, and we're actually going to level off, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the power back, you're going to hear a change in the power. Yes, and now the aim of the game is to keep 1,300, so this big hand on the, on the three. Okay. So we need to lower the nose so you can see a horizon above uh, above this. So you're going to lower the nose, push, 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 there you go. Right around there, okay? Right. And you just kind of hold it there. Now, are you feeling you have to keep pressures in there? Like, take your hands off. Victor, runway seven, number two, clear so that is going down, right? Uh -huh. So, seven, use your trim. One. So, move the trim wheel so you don't have to have any pressures on this to keep the nose level here. And you'll slowly start Deck to feel that you can go Alpha, hands off. Northwest, the plane basically bound kind of south. flies itself. I'll pull this back a little bit. You know, it's the other direction. Now we're going up. Yeah. So push four, the exactly nose down power, uh, and then re-trim the other direction just a little bit to kind of uh, Delta to the northwest. relieve those control pressures. Continue inbound and we'll stay outside as a Delta Northwest 514 Alpha. Hi. Hey. So, this is it. Hey. You're doing a great job. Nine or two Thank nine you. Or really you nice job. Keep All right, turn me to towards that big lake. You see the lake in the distance? 
Yes. That's the lake that you identified on the uh, okay. on the map. So we're going to go all the way over there. But you're doing a great job. You're doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So to raise the raise the standard bit, uh, a little bit. Okay. While you're flying, get the checklist. Okay. And I want you to find the climb portion. Okay. And I want you to read it off. Uh, 70 to 85. Okay. Power. Yes. Mixture. Yes. Instrument. Yes. Taxi land light off. Good. Uh, flight plan open. Yes. Great. Cool. Now, you just pass the test, okay? Okay. Because usually what people do when they pull this out is they forget that they're flying the plane and they just look at this and uh, uh, no. all, all of this goes <laughs> off and whatever. You maintained exactly what I wanted you to do. So, the look test has been passed. Look at that. Beautiful. And this is it. This is what we do. You guys get paid the big bucks for this. Yeah, this is glorious. Yeah, this is beautiful. Exactly. Well, instructors, big bucks and instructors don't, yeah, they, don't really go together. Because those two things, maybe not necessarily, <laughs> but, you know. No, your dad. Your dad makes... Uh, yeah, I've heard. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, I remember yeah. the first time I heard his pay. I was like, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. To tell me what to do. Right. Wow, it really is beautiful up here. You can see everything, which I know that's a goofy statement because <laughs> yeah. you're, you're literally in the air. You're seeing everything, yeah. but like... You can see everything. You can see everything, yeah. <laughs> what is it, you noob? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so... When there's an increase in lift, the aircraft wants to go up. Okay. When there's a decrease in lift, the aircraft wants to go down, just on a very basic level. So if I increase the amount of power we have, we're propelling ourselves through the air faster. Okay. Which means there's more airflow over the wings, which means more lift. Okay. So let's say we're straight and level now and you decided to increase power to go faster. Okay. You would have to retrim the nose to, okay. to stop it from, from going up. In fact, let's do that test now. So increase the increase the power a little bit. Feel what the aircraft wants to do. Take, take your hands off the controls. But so naturally, you see the nose rising a little yeah. bit? Because we're going faster through there, we've got more airflow, we've got more lift. Right. Now pull the power back again to until you see this around the 20. Right there. The nose is going back down again. Yeah. That's the relationship there. Okay. So if you were to increase power, you'd need to retrim the nose. Gotcha. Uh, just to just to relieve the control pressures, because otherwise you'd be fighting to keep the nose down or pull it up or whatever. Right. All right, cool. So we're going to do a climb. So every time we climb, we go full power. We want as much thrust as we can possibly get. What we're going to do, you're going to increase this all the way in, nice and easy, all the way in. Okay. And what that's going to do, just like we said, once you increase that power, you, the nose is going to want to rise. So push it all the way in, a little bit less timid. Push it all the way, just throw it in, throw it in, throw it in. There you go, beautiful. Now the nose is rising, we want to climb, that's that's what we want. So it's uh -huh. kind of doing it on its own at the moment. Just uh, maintain me on that heading. Um, it's doing what we want. The airspeed you want uh, is around 80 again. Okay. So you're just letting it slowly come to 80, that's absolutely fine. Once this uh, hand gets back around to the 5, that's where we're going to level off again. Okay. Okay. I want to see if you can do that on your own without my assistance. So what you're going to do is you're going to push the nose forward. You're going to pull the power back to around 2,000 again, and then you're going to trim. Uh, Lake Park traffic, Sky 71 Bravo, go for a 2,000 feet, climbing uh, 2,500 feet northeast shore, Lake Park, heading uh, northwestbound, Lake Park. Alright, it's at the three. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody get close. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm trained professional at the wheel. <laughs> so once it's at the five, so it's coming to the five now, so you can right. kind of pull the power at the same time, drop the nose to the horizon. There you go. As you're doing it, you can pull the power. I'm saying nothing else. I'm letting you figure it out. How does it feel as far as trim? Is your trim okay? Take your hands off. Uh, it's dropping a little bit, but... We wanted the five, right? Yeah. That's that's fine though. I, that that's that's what's going to happen. Uh, the only reason it's doing that is because you're a little bit timid because it's the first time you've ever done it. So everything's slow. Everything's just kind of figuring itself out. Yeah, exactly. But it's fine. You get it. Give myself a solid B. Yeah. Did you ever? Yeah. I mean, we're only three hundred feet off from where I wanted, but it's it's fine. It's oh, all right. It's that's it. Three hundred feet. That's all. It's fine. It's no problem. No, of course. If you were to continue training. 
a 300 foot increase would be unacceptable. But no, it's the first time you've ever done it. We're not going to criticize that today. You're getting, you're kind of getting used to it. Why don't we do this? Why don't we do the opposite? Let's descend. So what, what did we do to, uh, to climb? We put, bring the nose up, we pull it back. Pull it back, what do we do with the power? Uh, we put it all for it. Put it all in. So, if so we want to descend, exactly, there okay. you go. So we push this in to make the nose go and we pull the power back. Exactly. Now you're not going to pull full power back. Correct. But bring it to like between the 15 and 20. Beautiful. Right. And again, the nose is going to automatically drop. But it's going to do the job for you, really. Right. But if we're descending, uh, again, once we get to the five, you're going to do the opposite again. You're going to pull the nose up to the horizon and then reintroduce the power. Great, okay. Now, I want to see if you can uh, do it a little bit quicker. Okay. Because that, that, that's the only problem here. The, right. you, you're controlling really nicely. It's really nice and smooth, but just a little bit quicker so we maintain the altitude. I want to see if you can do that. Okay. Putting you to the test. So, will we hit the five? Yes. So we're hitting it now, raise the nose, increase the power. Increase the power. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Beautiful, that's perfect, you got it right there. Beautiful. That's better. That's what we're talking about. See, and now, <laughs> I just needed a quick training with a second. That's it. That's a lot quicker. Now you do whatever you need to do to maintain the uh, the 25. No, we're at 2,500 feet. That's, that's what we're doing. You're doing a really nice job. Do you need trim? How's the trim? Take your hands off. Uh, it's going down a little bit. It's starting to go down, so maybe you can whack the, the trim wheel one. There you go, like that, kind of. And then see what that does for you. Kind of. Oh! Look at that! Oh! We could have tea! Oh, it's glorious! I want you to make a 360 degree turn to the left. Oh, okay. Alright. Nice, easy bank angle. What this is going to show you in this turn, it's already happening. We're already losing a little bit of altitude. Okay. Um, in a turn, you have to give yourself a little bit of back pressure, a little bit of nose up. So, okay, okay, so you don't completely descend? Exactly. Sure, that makes sense. The reason is, once we're straight and level, there's only a, ver there's a vertical component of lift that's keeping us, keeping us flying, right? In a turn, that splits into vertical and now horizontal, because we need to go that way, right? Right. So aerodynamically, you've, you've got a split, which means to maintain the altitude, you have to pull back a little bit. And you've done uh, absolutely spectacular job of it. Don't you know, tell my father. No, His would, head may get bigger. Yeah, I, I would never compliment your I didn't father. think it was possible, but it might be today. Seriously, you should see him at the airline. You do this, you do this. Oh, I'm the man. I've lived with him, I get oh. it. I, why do you think I moved out so quick? Seriously, the more you increase the bank angle, the more back pressure you're going to need. So you see, because uh, on that second half of that turn, you increase the bank angle without increasing the back pressure enough, it, we dropped a gotcha. little bit. Still within my limits, so, you know, not criticizing, but there you go, and now you're back at 2,500 feet. Here we go, Look I'm back that. on the five. What are the chances? All right, we're going to climb again, go back up to 3,000 feet. Okay, there we all go. right, that, and still, there's so many uh, things, like you said, that that's where I get. Exactly. Making sure everything is where it needs to be. Exactly. And still feeling the plane. Yes. Now, that's where studying comes in, because right. you, when you understand their aerodynamics right. and also the procedure of what we do, it makes more sense. It makes more sense. Yes. Absolutely. You know, I, I can say as much as I want, oh, aerodynamically. While you're doing it, is probably the worst time to try and explain aerodynamics. You know? Right, because I'm listening to you and I'm like, exactly. I get it, but like, what am I looking at? Exactly. Yeah. I'm going to show you a falling leaf stall. Okay. Okay. You've done a, a really nice job, so we're going to raise the standard here. Okay. <laughs> Now, just to explain, we're going to stall the aircraft. Now, if we allow the wings to drop away in the stall, right. it's going to cause what's called a spin. Okay. Uh, which we don't want to do. No. Okay. To stop that, we don't use this. Okay. We, we use, use the, the rotor. We use the pedals. Exactly. Yeah. You've been studying. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. All that's going to happen here, and I'm going to help you keep back pressure on this. Okay. Uh, it's just whenever a wing starts to drop, you use the other one. Hit the other one and yes. just kind of tap it if you need to. You see, like, kind of use the rudder now. Kind of feel the rudder. Feel how, uh, you know, how it operates and stuff in flight. You can see it kind of swinging the tail okay. a little bit. Okay, yeah. Um, that's all you're going to do. Okay. And uh, I'll, I'll give you an example of one first. Uh, Lake Popka traffic, Sky 71 Bravo Golfer on the west side, Lake Popka, 3,000 feet. Falling leaf star, Lake Popka. We've done everything we need to do. We've done clearing turns. So we're going to go full idle. 
So we're going to have no power for this. Okay. Alrighty. And again, if you feel like you don't want to do this, you just let me know. We're good. Yeah, absolutely. All right, cool. So I'm going to trim back to kind of help me out. And at first, I'm just trying to maintain altitude. With no power, to maintain altitude, you've got to pull back. You've got to raise what we call angle of attack. Again, okay. I'm going into aerodynamics. That's okay. Okay, we're just holding it back. And then just kind of feel the rudder. Feel what I'm doing with the rudder. Okay. As it stalls, right, there's going to be a sound. There's a sound. Keep pulling this all the way yeah, back, a bit and you can see, I'm that. just looking kind of outside, yeah, kind of feeling what the, the aircraft wants to do. You see it goes to the right, I kick the left, it goes left, I kick right, and I'm just trying to stop it, trying to anticipate. Keep it level. Exactly, that's all I'm doing. So you can feel me kind of kicking one side to stop kind it. Kind of tap dancing Tap with dancing, it. yes! Yes, that's one of my favourite lines. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so there you go, you're just tapping it and kind of stopping it from, from, from going. Okay. okay. Makes sense? Yeah. To recover, again, aerodynamically, you just need airflow. Bring the nose down. Bring and the nose down. Exactly. Get the airflow back and it recovers. Easy. Alrighty. I'm going to climb you back up. We have an aircraft there. Oh, my legs are long enough for this. I will be with you every step of the way. Alright, you okay. got it. And we're just going to let this plane slow down nice and easy, just like I did. Pull back a little bit more. I'll give you some rim. Nice job. I can feel you're already kind of ready on the rudder. Pull it back a little bit more. I'm going to help you pull back, but uh, the rudder is all you. Whatever it takes to stop the uh, the wing from dropping. Okay. Start that tap dancing now. Going left, push right a little bit. A little bit more. More force, more force, more force. More, 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 more. Bring that wing level, there you go. A little bit more. There you go, doing a really nice job. Thank you. Tap dancing, holding it. We're off heading a little bit, but that's that's not a problem. The whole point of this is to stop us from spinning. You're not letting this plane spin. Yeah. All right, I'm going to sleep. Enjoy yourself. Okay, you have a good nap. I will do. Really good job. Thank you. Great job. All right, now recover. Push the nose down, let it recover. My controls, you've done a, a fantastic, fantastic thank job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I you got have it. not been too shabby of a instructor, I appreciate that. I I am pleasantly surprised at that. Uh, hey, you know? Good job. There's a first for everything, right? Good job. No, it wasn't even close to spinning. I wasn't even panicking, well, not it, even a flutter yeah. in the heart. Were you panicked? Were I you nervous? Panic. I was okay, enjoying good. that. Did you see on mine though? On mine, at first it wanted to drop it, away. It was, it was really kind of, yeah. I was expecting a little bit more of a tap dancing yeah. than it was anything, so. Your, yours was... Yours was great. I mean, yeah, we went off to the left a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, but I'm mean, a newbie. What do you want to yeah, say? Exactly. Nah, the new guy. Nah. nah. Good job. All right, I'm going to take you back in. That okay. is the Discovery flight done. How do you feel? I feel amazing. Can I get a picture of this? Of course you can. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. I appreciate it. This has really been a hell of a time. That's, that's you've done a fantastic job. Like, everybody comes in at first and on these flights is, is, is quite timid. You don't know what you're doing. Like, it's like getting behind the wheel of a car for the first time, you know, you get the idea of it. Yeah, uh, at first that timidness was there, but uh, the past, uh, the, the last few times we were doing like playing with the power and leveling off and stuff, you were quicker with the power, yeah. you were starting to lose that timid, uh, that timidness, you should be proud of yourself. Thank you, I, that, that was really fun. Yeah, better than your dad. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep that between us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to, I mean, his birthday's coming up, I may have to throw that out there in a conversation <laughs> somewhere, but like, yeah. you know what Lewis said to me? There's a new Finkbinder in town. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> the better Captain Finkbinder. There you go. Sound like Ludix was out there too. When are you gonna call me? Man, the amount of comments that I get. Where's Murph? Where's Murph? We want Murph. It's gonna happen. I miss you. I miss you too, brother. Ah, right, Tower Sky, Sony, one Bravo Golf, we're beam downtown. Uh, traffic ahead of us inside. So it's one Bravo Golf, runway 7, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 7, 781 Bravo Golf.
Victor's out five, 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 Thank you. 1977 I always like doing these corporate flights. Yeah, that was actually really fun. It was a good time. Yeah. Alright, now get out. Tuck and roll.